to my channel cat by nagendra so in this tutorial we are going to see introduction for drafting or drawing so what is meant by this drafting or drawing means now conversion of 3d model to convert into 2d drawing is called as drafting or drawing so usually we will create 3d model by using cat softwares like catia or solidworks so the 3d model we will convert into 2d that we call it as drafting or drawing so what is the need of this drafting or drawing what is the need means let's say for example other like regarding one any object we are having here 2d drawings whoever like basic engineering drawing knowledge who are having that people those they are able to read that engineering drawing and they are able to understand what it is there and which type of part is available if you make construction of the 2d drawings but let's say for example some uneducated people are there or unskilled people are there directly by seeing 2d drawing they are they will be not able to understand which part is going to generate through the 2d drawings so for that conditions by using this 2d drawings by using different cat tools like catia or solidworks we will convert the 2d drawing into 3d modeling so 3d modeling means we will be able to see that object in front of our eyes like how it will be 3d objects let's say for example this component we are having so if we make like top view front view and side view as we are engineers we know how to read the drawing and if you make that arrangement of views we know properly which shape we will get like this isometric view component but unskilled people they won't able to understand that engineering drawing so if we create here 3d modeling directly if you see that 3d component he will be able to say okay this is air birds like that directly object they are able to do so now up to here clear why because directly 2d drawings everyone can't read so we are going to convert into 3d so directly we can see that what is the component properly then what is the need of converting again 3d into 2d so that is the question now now why we want to convert the 3d into 2d means now for example by using 2d we have created 3d then we have created this 3d but whatever this inside views are there inside bolts or screws or nuts whatever these holes are there inside we will be not able to see properly from outside in with this 3d view but it will be shown in 2d so why we will convert this 3d to 2d means whatever they specified here different type of section views again holes all will be specified in 2d by using that we will create 3d model then again we will convert this 3d model into 2d drawings it means 2d to 3d we generated again by using 3d we have converted into 2d why we have converted means now if any mistake i have done in this 3d model we will be not able to see from outside so what we will do if we convert into 2d already we are having 2d drawing here also we are going to convert 2d drawing for this 3d model just if we cross check between this 2d drawing to this 2d drawing if it is matching properly to each other then our 3d model is correct so that is the concept of drafting here i hope you have understood if you like this video please like the video here itself i think uh, you got this point very well now this is the introduction for drawing then next one more we are having here reverse engineering so what is mean by this reverse engineering before we have seen we are having 2d diagram by using that we are going to convert 3d again from 3d to 2d we will convert and we will cross check whether it is 3d model is correct or wrong like that now what is mean by this reverse engineering means let's say for example same one object is available for us here now direct component we are having here so this component i need to design and i need to generate now if you want to design this particular component basic input details we wanted now let's say for example this curve radius this length we want this height we want that some measurements we wanted so by using this direct 3d component by using here different measuring tools like vernier caliper or different ruler or something now let's say we are having one sparger here that sparger we need to design and we need proper dimensions so by using vernier caliper or different type of measuring tools for this original component just we will draw one rough sketch like this 
with our free hand just we can draw roughly and we will give dimension what is the diameter for this one what is the length between these two this every details we will mention roughly here then by using this 2d drawing we will create a 3d model in CAD software again this 3d model we will convert into 2d the 2d drawing we will give for supplier or for production process so like that we will be able to do this reverse engineering so reverse engineering is nothing but directly ready 3d component will be available by using that we need to measure all dimensions and all then same according to that we need to design 3d modeling then we will convert into 2d then the 2d diagram will go for production and we can make it production or else by using 3d model in nowadays we are having here automatic program like uh, generators so usually these machines will be operated with cnc so cnc we know, we know that computer numerical control so what is mean by computer numerical control with the help of computer just we will convert that entire part diagram into g codes and m codes like nothing but nc code we call it numerical control code that entire nc control program we will give to computer through machine so through computer if you give that code to that machine whatever we given this nc code according to that that part will be made ready so in this program we will be having again two types manual program is there automatic program is there manual program is nothing but we need to measure every dimension so much this is the radius i want this is the diameter we want every code with which is having m codes and g codes entire code we need to write manually one more method is automating method so let's say for example solid cam or nx cam like that separate softwares will be available for us so directly we will create just this 3d model here no need to draw it like no need to write manual program just if we give this entire CAD model into that software automatically it will read it will analyze and it will generate entire NC program automatically same program we will just give to machine through computer then this product will get ready so this is the basic concept of this CNC machines I hope you have understood up to now then next in drafting we will be having here majorly two types one is generative drafting so what is mean by this generative drafting means in generative drafting first we will create 3d model then by using this 3d model only we will generate 2d drawings like for example section view print view side view according to that again we will give this dimensions tolerance values everything it will be specified in 2d so generative drafting is nothing but we are going to generate 2d views with the help of 3d view that is the basic thing then one more type we are having here interactive drafting interactive drafting is nothing but here we will be not having any 3d models directly we are able to create this 2d views directly here itself that type of drafting we call it as interactive drafting so for interactive drafting best example is autocad why because in autocad we won't create 3d model and we won't generate 2d views from that directly whatever the different type of views we are having directly we will draw that in autocad so this is about basic introduction of this drafting i hope you have understood up to now now next tutorial we will going to start drafting in CAD and solidworks thanks for watching keep supporting